CBS News political director and face the nation moderator John Dickerson is in Washington. John, good morning. Good morning, Charlie. So here we have all this trading of assaults and uh, of insults and a, a more aggressive campaign against Trump. But the question remains, will the race really change until people start dropping out? Well, right. Or, you know, what if one of the things we saw in our battleground tracker is that even if the other candidates were not Donald Trump start dropping out, whoever's left doesn't get that much more of the vote to really overtake Trump. Uh, so we're going to have to see what actually happens when the voters get in the in the booth and start uh, deciding what they're going to do to see if there's anything to stop Trump. But at the moment, this uh, race to the bottom in the uh, back and forth between the candidates hasn't seemed to have hurt him. Rather than a campaign of ideas, has become a campaign about Mussolini, the KKK, and the size of a candidate's hands. John, what's going on in the National Republican Party about concerns about how may this affect the party's future and electoral chances with other races? Well, you know, the, 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 the I mean, once you get into KKK and Mussolini, you are in very different territory than these silly jokes about uh, makeup. I mean, these are repugnant ideas that uh, the, the Republican Party stands very far apart of. And what the, the difficulty with Donald for Donald Trump is, even though he disavowed David Duke uh, on Friday when he was asked by Jake Tapper on CNN about this, uh, he seemed to be sort of uh, unable to immediately denounce the KKK and white supremacists. This is this should not be difficult, and it gives support to those who say he's playing footsie with some of the ugliest ideas out there in order to build support for his candidacy. John, can we talk about Chris Christie for a moment? This uh, swung back some of the uh, momentum, I think, from uh, read a debate on Thursday. A lot of people thought Marco Rubio did very well in. Um, what is Chris Christie looking for? Do, do you see this as a, a possible? VP ticket for, for Donald? Uh, possibly. I think uh, it was a chance for Chris Christie to get back in the um, uh, uh, story a little bit after his uh, poor showing in, in New Hampshire and dropping out of the race um, because he really ran against, ran on things, Chris Christie, that Donald Trump doesn't believe in uh, and said things about Trump and his lack of experience uh, that are sort of contradicted by what he said in supporting him ultimately in the end. So uh, it's helpful, as you mentioned, though, for Donald Trump to have an endorsement from somebody like that in a blue state. So it was good for the news cycle. But I think other than that, Donald Trump is off on his own and has got his own thing going. Whether there's a place for Christie ultimately in a Trump administration, there probably is in some, some possible way. All right, John Dickerson, good to see you. Thank you so much. And tomorrow night, our entire political team will bring you Super Tuesday results in prime time. Our special coverage begins at 10, 9 central, right here on CBS.